So now that we know about the extractive and asiatropic distillations, let us make a clear difference between both of them. Now, of course, both are distillations, meaning that the main idea is that they exploit the difference in volatility between the components that we want to separate. Now, the quick answer of the difference is that in asiatropic distillation, we most form or the formation of an asiotrop is required to separate the components of the mixture. Now, as you can see, asiotropic formation here, as the name implies, is the main issue. Now, in extractive distillation, we don't need to form an asiotrop. Actually, what we're going to do is just to add a material, and this is going to be theoretically improving the separation coefficient due to the volatility differences. Now, let us make it even clearer. Point one, in asiotropic distillation, the third component added, so the MSA that we're adding, is referred as the entrainer. In extracted distillation, the third component added is referred as the solvent. Now, both of them are external materials, which in theory will be recovered and is not part of our final product, okay? Point number two, Isotropic distillation, the third component added by the isotropic distillation procedure will have or yield a low boiling isotrop or low boiling point isotrop. Extracted distillation, on the other hand, will not have a boiling point. Actually, the reverse is true. It's going to have a very high boiling point because we want this to remain as a liquid. The main difference between the two is in the process of separating the mixture as well. Isotropic distillation will form an isotrop right after combining the separation solvent. This was already addressed. The isotrop can be a complicated way of separating the mixture because it cannot be easily changed by just a simple distillation. Now, as you can imagine, isotropic distillations can get a little bit more complicated or more messy than a normal distillation and even more complicated than extractive distillation. Now, the problem with extractive distillation is the solvent. A specific separation solvent is used in every mixture that should not form an isotrop. So that's the interesting part right here. You need to know your system and you need to know which solvents are convenient for your system. And many, in many cases, you may not know what is the correct solvent to use. Typically, extractive distillation is a better and easier method than the asiotropic distillation. So yeah, in general, you will try to use extractive distillation when possible, and then try asiotropic distillation. One tip is that once you go to the industry, you already know which is the correct approach. Uh, rarely you're going to be comparing which one of them is better. So some processes have been done so far with extractive distillation. You just select extractive distillation. And let's check out this case study.